हेलो आई आनंद जैन फ्रॉम हनुमानगढ़ राजस्थान वेलकम्स यू टू योर फेवरेट श्रीदेवी क्लासेज यूट्यूब चैनल वेयर वी इनकल्केट इंटरेस्ट एंड कॉन्फिडेंस इन साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट टुडे इन आवर क्लास ट्वेल्थ फिजिक्स प्ले लिस्ट इन आवर सब्जेक्ट न्यूक्लियर फिजिक्स वी विल अंडरस्टैंड मास डिफरेंस इन न्यूक्लियस फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम न्यूक्लियोन एंड कंसेप्ट ऑफ बाइंडिंग एनर्जी एंड देन विल लर्न बाइंडिंग एनर्जी पर न्यूक्लियोन एंड इट्स सिग्निफिकेंस एंड फाइनली विल ऑल्सो अंडरस्टैंड हाउ एनर्जी इज प्रोड्यूस्ड इन फ्यूजन एंड फिशन एक्शन सो लेट स्टार्ट the study of one very important conceptual topic of nuclear physics binding energy per nucleon the magic of nuclear binding energy lies in mass difference or mass defect so we will first discuss what is mass difference the actual mass of all stable nuclei is always less than the total mass of its constituent nucleons all its protons and all its neutrons and the difference of masses between the sum total mass of all nucleons that means z number of protons and a minus z number of neutrons that constitutes a nucleus and the rest mass of nucleus is called mass defect as for helium the sum total mass of two proton and two neutron is 4.03298 amu and mass of helium nucleus is 4.00260 amu and this difference become mass defect for helium atom so we can say mass defect or mass difference is the numeric difference between actual sum total mass of nucleon and mass of nucleus it is very interesting as well as very significant that one z number of proton each having mass mp and the remaining a minus z number of neutron each having mass mn group together to form a nucleus then the resultant rest mass of nucleus thus formed capital m is less than sum total mass of all nucleons so in nucleus formation some mass difference takes place and that difference of mass of all nucleons and resultant nucleus become mass defect in nucleus formation and as per einstein famous relation of special theory of relativity mass is a condensed form of energy and energy equivalent of mass is equal to mc square so this mass difference in nucleus formation difference of mass of all nucleons and resultant nucleus got converted into an energy and that energy bound all nucleons together in a nucleus since this mass difference energy is binding all nucleons in nucleus so we call it binding energy of nucleus so there exist a mass difference between some total mass of all nucleons and mass of resultant nucleus and energy equivalent of this missing mass this mass defect is equivalent to an energy for holding the nucleon together in nucleus and if this nucleus is segregated in individual nucleons then smaller mass of nucleus become a greater mass of segregated nucleons so this additional mass is created by provision of some extra external energy and that external energy is equivalent to binding energy of nucleons so each nucleus has some sort of binding energy that hold all nucleons in a nucleus when mass number of a nucleus increases its binding energy also increases continuously and the rate of increase is relatively more between mass number 20 and 200 this increase of binding energy with mass number of nucleus clearly indicate that every addition of neutron or proton in any nucleus results in additional mass defect and increase of binding energy now this concept of binding energy is not a true indicator for relative stability of nucleus as it indicates that higher mass number got higher amount of binding energy but for better understanding of nuclear forces we divide binding energy with mass number and obtain binding energy per nucleon so in a nucleus the total amount of mass defect when multiplied by c square gives us total amount of binding energy and binding energy divided by mass number gives us binding energy per nucleon and this binding energy per nucleon is a true representation of stability of any nucleus and nucleus with higher amount of binding energy per nucleon such as fe56 are more stable than 
other nuclei. Let's understand the calculation of binding energy per nucleon for some typical nucleus compositions. The first nucleus composition for binding energy calculation is deuteron. In deuteron, in nucleus, there is a proton and neutron combination. And in this hydrogen isotope, there is one orbital electron in deuteron atom. Now, if this nucleus is segregated in individual nucleons, proton and neutron separately, then if we see some total mass of individual proton and neutron, then proton mass is roughly 1.00813 am. AMU and neutron mass is 1.00893 amu and the sum total mass 2.01706 amu is more than the mass of deuteron nucleus 2.01473 amu and the difference of sum of mass of nucleons and nucleus is mass difference and in deuteron formation the mass defect or mass difference is 0.00233 amu that means this much amount of mass get converted into energy and that energy binds these proton and neutron together in deuteron nucleus and the binding energy of deuteron nucleus is 1 amu is equivalent to 931 mev so 0.00 0.00233 amu becomes 2.17 mev and this is total binding energy of deuteron atom and we are interested in binding energy per nucleon and deuteron got two nucleon one proton and one neutron so total binding energy of deuteron nucleus 2.17 mev when divided by mass number 2 the binding energy per nucleon comes as 1.081 or roughly 1 1.1 mev for deuteron nucleus and relatively it's a small amount of energy and if one wants to segregate proton and neutron from deuteron nucleus he has to impart 1.1 mev energy per nucleon or total 2.17 mev energy to separate proton and neutron in deuteron nucleus so 2.17 mev is binding energy of deuteron and 1.085 mev is binding energy per nucleon for deuteron helium atom got two proton and two neutron in nucleus and two orbital electron and if we remove two orbital electron then this nucleus of helium is known as alpha and this nucleus composition got two proton and two neutron and if we study individual some total mass of constituent nucleons two proton and two neutron then some total mass of two proton each proton got mass mp and sum of two neutron mass 2mn when added together then it comes as two times times proton mass in AMU and two times neutron mass in AMU and that sum total mass of alpha nucleus nucleons is 4.03298 AMU and this mass is more than mass of alpha nucleus and the difference of mass between some total mass of constituting nucleons and mass of nucleon is mass difference and this mass difference for alpha nucleus is 0.03023 amu and 1 amu is equivalent to 930 mev energy so this mass difference becomes the binding energy of helium nucleus or alpha particle and it comes as 28.14 mev and when we divide this binding energy of alpha nucleus with mass number 4 then binding energy per nucleon comes as 7.03 mev relatively a higher value so in alpha formation or helium nucleus formation when two proton and two neutron group together there is a considerable amount of mass defect and this mass becomes a uh, energy and that energy bind these nucleons together in this alpha nucleus and binding energy per nucleon of alpha is 7.07 .07 mev among all nucleus composition the maximum binding energy per nucleon corresponds to fe56 nucleus which have 26 proton and remaining 30 neutrons so if we consider some total mass of 26 protons and one proton mass in amu is 1.00813 and 30 neutron mass is 30 times 1.00893 amu and some total mass of all nucleon 26 proton and 30 neutron is much more than mass of fe56 nucleus and this difference is mass defect 
and mass defect in FE fifty six nucleus is zero point five three three AMU, and that corresponds to one AMU is nine thirty one million EV. So total mass defect energy or binding energy of FE fifty six nucleus is four ninety two million EV, and binding energy divided by mass number gives us binding energy per nucleon, and it comes roughly eight point eight MeV, highest among all nucleus composition. Now the higher value of binding energy per nucleon represent more stability of nucleons in that nucleus. Now. This calculation clearly indicate that Fe fifty six nucleus possess highest stability among all nucleuses, and compared to its nearby other nucleus composition or deuteron alpha particle having higher amount of binding energy per nucleon is more stable, and Fe fifty six is the most stable nucleus. So higher value of binding energy per nucleon represent higher relative stability of that nucleus composition. If we study graphically the variation of binding energy per nucleon with mass number, then we'll find that for all nucleus composition, binding energy per nucleon is a positive figure. For smaller size nucleuses of mass number less than twenty, binding energy per nucleon is relatively small, and for rest of nucleuses, binding energy per nucleon is relatively higher. And positive value of binding energy per nucleon clearly indicate that all nucleus composition. Are are inherently stable and they will require input of external energy to fragment these nucleuses into their constituent nucleons and among all nucleons fe56 got the highest amount of binding energy 8.8 mev per nucleon so it is the most stable nucleus relatively and nucleus of mass number more than 200 are relatively less stable than nucleus between mass number 20 and 200 Deuteron, the first and simplest composition, got least binding energy per nucleon, roughly 1.1 MeV. And as mass number increases, binding energy per nucleon increases sharply and attain 8 MeV per nucleon level at mass number 20 for neon 20. And in this increase of mass number and increase of binding energy per nucleon, some special nucleon having mass number 4 of helium or alpha particle. or carbon 12 or oxygen 16 they have relatively more value of binding energy per nucleon compared to their nearby compositions and the reason for this higher value of binding energy per nucleon in mass number 4 12 and 16 and these mass number are also called as magic number and in these magic number nucleus composition the number of proton and number of neutron both are even and even in he4 there are two proton two neutron in carbon 12 there are six proton six neutron similar in oxygen 16 there is 8 neutron and 8 proton and in these even even compositions of neutron and proton we have higher amount of nuclear attractive forces or relatively more stability than their nearby counterparts this sharp increase in binding energy per nucleon with increase of mass number remain continue in increase mode even after mass number 20 but definitely the rate of increase of binding energy per nucleon with mass number decreases onwards and this increase attain maximum value of binding energy per nucleon for fe56 which have binding energy per nucleon equivalent to 8. 8 MeV and this Fe56 will become the most stable nucleus among all nucleus composition and after Fe56 though the total binding energy of nucleus is increasing but binding energy per nucleon decreases with a very small rate and it is observed that between mass number 20 and 200 binding energy per nucleon float between 8 and 8.8 and this represent the saturation property of nuclear forces which confirm that in nucleus to produce strong attractive nuclear forces the nucleon proton and neutron exchange pi meson with each other and this exchange interaction will take place among only nearby 10 12 nucleon and increase number of nucleon in nucleus won't increase 
द अमाउंट ऑफ एक्सचेंज इंट्रैक्शन द न्यूक्लियर फोर्सेज एक्सचेंज इंट्रैक्शन गोट ए सेचुरेशन नेचर एंड आफ्टर ए लिमिट न्यूक्लियर फोर्सेज अटेन अ कॉन्स्टेंट वैल्यू एंड बाइंडिंग एनर्जी पर न्यूक्लियोन बिकम ऑलमोस्ट कॉन्स्टेंट बिटवीन एट एंड एट पॉइंट एट एम ई वी फॉर मास नंबर ऑफ न्यूक्लियोन बिटवीन ट्वेंटी एंड टू हंड्रेड एंड इफ वी सी न्यूक्लियस कंपोजिशन अबाउट टू हंड्रेड और बिलो ट्वेंटी विल फाइंड दैट बाइंडिंग एनर्जी पर न्यूक्लियोन ऑफ दीज न्यूक्लियस कंपोजिशन इज स्लाइटली और रिलेटिवली लेस दैन बाइंडिंग एनर्जी पर न्यूक्लियन ऑफ मिडल साइज न्यूक्लियन सो एफ ई फिफ्टी सिक्स इज हैविंग हाइएस्ट बाइंडिंग एनर्जी पर न्यूक्लियन इज द मोस्ट स्टेबल न्यूक्लियस एंड न्यूक्लियस ऑफ मिडिल मास नंबर ट्वेंटी टू टू हंड्रेड आर रिलेटिवली मोर स्टेबल एंड स्मोलर न्यूक्लियसेज एंड लार्ज साइज मास नंबर न्यूक्लियसेज आर लेस स्टेबल वेन स्मोलर साइज न्यूक्लियस ऑफ लेस मास नंबर आर फ्यूज टूगेदर to form a bigger nucleon of mass number up to 20 will find that resultant product nucleus got higher amount of binding energy per nucleon and higher binding energy per nucleon such as of helium 4 indicate relatively higher amount of mass defect in nucleus formation and this additional mass defect become additional binding energy of this nucleus and in fusion process may results in release of energy in this nuclear fusion reaction as when deuteron and tritium are fused together they will form a higher size nucleus alpha of higher binding energy per nucleon and if we study the sum total mass of deuterium nucleus and tritium nucleus then this mass sum is higher than mass of resultant helium nucleus and a by product neutron mass and in the process the mass defect get converted into an energy output of fusion so in fusion reaction when smaller sized mass number nucleons are fused together to produce a higher mass number of higher binding energy per nucleon the difference of binding energy per nucleon of resultant products and reacting nucleus is become energy output of fusion process and fusion can release energy as in sun proton proton cycle converts itself into helium and in the process mass defect release energy and resultant helium become a relatively more stable resultant nucleus and when unstable nucleus form stable positions energy get released in the fusion process of sun when proton fuse together to form helium nucleus similarly in fission process when a neutron bombard in onto uranium 235 temporarily uranium 236 is formed and that uranium 236 fragment itself in two nuclei one of approximately 140 245 mass number say barium 141 and another of mass number 92 95 say krypton 92 and in the process a less stable nucleus of lesser binding energy per nucleon get converted in nucleus product of higher stability or higher binding energy per nucleon and in the process the same neutron and proton constitute less stable and more stable nucleus but in more stable nucleus there is additional mass defect and that mass defect get converted into energy output of fission process so fission of higher size nucleus into smaller mass number fragments also release energy as resultant products got higher binding energy per nucleon or higher amount of stability and this difference of total binding energy of product and binding energy of reactant this difference become energy output of fission process so in fusion when small nucleus composition are fused to form higher size of higher binding energy per nucleon or in fission when large size nucleus is fragmented in small size mass number nucleus of higher binding energy per nucleon in both conditions less stable get converted into higher stable or higher binding energy per nucleon product and in the process mass defect get converted into release of energy we hope this small interesting and informative video has explained each and every aspect of binding energy in nucleus and you could also appreciate in place of binding energy binding energy per nucleon is better indicator of relative stability of nucleus and fe56 is most stable nucleus among all nucleus composition and fusion 
and fission process produce resultant product of more stability higher binding energy per nucleon and in the process release energy our other learning video of the same playlist are equally useful to enhance your subject clarity and exam score and if you need our dedicated exam centric notes or doubt clearing online classes do join membership of our youtube channel have nice time happy learning thank you very much